All right, guys, how many of you guys actually paid $29.99 to buy one of these uh, wireless uh, Chinese dongles that you find on Amazon and on, uh, online, promising you that it would be comparable or better than your $100 auto scanner that you currently have right now? I'm letting you guys know right now, I did a pretty thorough review on this. It took me about half a day to go through it and to actually give it an honest chance. And I found out so many things wrong with this thing that I'm going to go ahead and toss it. I, I just don't like it at all. Number one, it's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi to your cell phone and Bluetooth to this dongle. If anybody that is familiar with today's technology, you are going to have some of those type of frustrations where you're just going to see that hourglass on your cell phone just go back and forth trying to look for a signal. Especially if you're in the middle of the desert, you're in the middle of the mountains, you're in the middle of the lake, you are camping, you are in the middle of nowhere, especially times when you actually need something like this because you're stranded, you are going to be in the middle of nowhere with no signal. Are you going to depend on something that is dependent on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? That Number is. two, it is not plug and play like an auto scanner. The auto scanner I own automatically detects your VIN number and year and make and model. This requires downloading an app, registering a username and password, then it requires setup, then on top of all that, it pushes you to buy a subscription. Really? Auto scanners should be loaded with everything you need, ready to go. That's what plug and play should be. So number three. I have listened to you guys request a scanner with the capabilities of reading your transmission oil temperature. Uh, quite a few of you guys requested that. But unfortunately, this dongle provides you the bare basics without the enhanced options of providing codes for TPMS, brake systems, airbag systems, and transmission sensors. So if we're going to go ahead and purchase any type of scanner, it could be a $20 one, it could be a $100 one, it could be a $200 one, doesn't matter what it is. It's worthless unless it diagnoses the issues that the GX460 and the GX470 currently have. The number one thing that I really wanted it was because I installed an external transmission cooler. I wanted it to read transmission temperature. I'm sure there are other wireless dongles that read transmission temperatures, but we're talking about the accuracy of a wireless unit. I want it hardlined, okay? I want it hardlined into my OBD ports in order to read an accurate signal so I can get an accurate value. So let's go ahead and put this thing away. I'm going to put it away in the trash, to be honest with you. I don't really need it. And we're going to hardwire a unit that I purchased in order to get my temperatures for my transmission. So for those that just want the basics to guide them in the right direction in order for a Lexus technician to fix your truck, then the $29.99 dongle might be for you. But for others that like to roll up your sleeves and clear out your weekends to replace your own EGR valve or install your own transmission cooler, you might want to pick up a reputable auto scanner with a good reputation in the scanning business. So I searched and searched and found one that had four and a half plus stars and over 2,000 reviews to buy. I had a list of requirements before I made the purchase. Obviously, a good reputation. Big screen. No matter how long I own it, the updates must be free. It must recognize all year Lexus GX460s all over the world. It must be able to live stream engine oil temperatures and transmission oil temperatures. And finally, be plug and play. No downloading crap on my phone, no taking up space on my phone, no depending on my phone's battery in order to work, no dependence on a good signal in order to work, and does not try to sell me upgrades to a more premium app for their definitely one of the good things about this is it actually has auto fin unlike the 29.99 dongle you can actually click on auto VIN by clicking OK right here. Automatic VIN acquisition, click OK over here. And it retrieves your VIN number for your vehicle, your specific vehicle. Down here you have your functions, F1, F2, and F3. 
These are what you have for your options down here if you want to choose several different options. It says F3 is yes, so you click F3. We could do a quick scan of your whole entire vehicle to see if there's anything out of place. Or you could just go straight to diagnosis, in which I'm going to do. I'm going to go to powertrain, engine and ECT. This screen gives you a heads up on what the ECU controls. What's important to me right here is it controls automatic transmission. Let's go ahead and click OK for F3. Here are the list of functions that this auto scanner provides you. All the primary, the engine controls, fuel, DTC, ignition, charging control, compression, automatic transmission, which we are going to go ahead and use, vehicle information, catalytic converter. So let's go ahead and go straight to automatic transmission. Now, under automatic transmission, it even checks vehicle speed, engine speed, MAF sensor, MAP sensor. Here's your coolant temperature. Let's go ahead and select that. Now it's selecting that and we are going to graph that, okay? But we want to also graph other things on the same screen. So let's go ahead and scroll down to see if there's any other things that we want to include. We selected those. A lot of solenoid statuses. Let's go ahead and click on uh, mass airflow sensor. And let's go ahead and save. Those, I think those are the few that I want to check out. So click OK, which is F3. And there you guys have it. Coolant temperature, 181 degrees Fahrenheit. The first sensor for your automatic transmission fluid is 167. My second sensor is reading 166. My math airflow sensor, 4.54. Okay, so if I step on the gas right now, see my math is spiking along with my gas pedal. That means it's reading. Now, if you see my coolant temperature and my transmission temperature increasing a little bit. Okay, folks, if I like this combination of readings and I want to check on this all the time, I don't have to go back in and re-choose all of these different functions. I can go ahead and save this format right here by clicking Save F3 and it will save it for me. So whenever I log in, all I have to choose is that file folder and these four will always come up for me. Okay, there you guys got it. Folks, if you're gonna buy a luxury SUV, don't go cheap on it, especially with its electronics. Invest in a good quality auto scanner that's hard lined into your OBD2 port. Don't fall for gimmicks, especially gimmicks that try to pull you into buying other stuff and more and more and more stuff, especially when they try to get you into a subscription just to do something that a normal auto scanner can already do. So take it from me guys, Jigs Bob. Get rid of that shit, man. Piece of junk. Mm. You guys didn't think the video was over, right? Of course it's not over, guys. Forgot about the giveaway. Come on now, it's the holidays. I'm excited to give stuff away. Add a comment below and I will automatically include your name into the drawing. Two, deadline is 12 a.m. Wednesday, December 7. You do not need to reside in the United States to enter as long as your address is deliverable. And uh, side note, Russians are not allowed to enter unless you guys pull out of Ukraine. Number four, I will record the wheel spin and post the video Wednesday evening, December 7, California time. And the title for the video will be 
Foxwell Auto Scanner winner. Okay, so look out for that video and I will post the name of that video. I will actually record the, the wheel spin on that video for you guys to actually view, okay? Everything's legit, guys. I've done this before. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna continue to do holiday giveaways. This is so much fun. Okay, so folks, this is a real free giveaway and a real drawing, okay guys? I do not use any of your information for anything. I don't care about you guys. I don't care about your address or your phone number. I don't care about any of that thing. I just want to deliver this and call it a day, okay? Unless you're a hot babe, then I'll probably stalk your ass for about another couple of weeks before I get bored of you, okay? So peace out guys, GX Bob. Mm, holiday giveaway guys. Let's do this.